Okay, so I have all the parts clean. I've washed them twice in a diesel. And I took and cleaned them all off with brake parts cleaner to get all the diesel off. And to pressure wash some of the areas, kind of. Uh, in this back here on the back side of the uh, main drive gear. Um, it had a lot of metal in there even after I had washed it out with a toothbrush. But I got, got it out with the uh, brake clean. Anyhow, here's the uh, kit um, that I ordered off of. Uh, I got it on eBay. It comes with all the bearings that you need for the shafts. I'm going to leave them out. They were in this box. And uh, it's got a nice gasket kit in here. It has more gaskets than what I need. I don't need to uh, replace the oil pan or the, uh, the one where it connects to the motor. Okay. Um, got all new barons. The main drive baron and the uh, trap door barons. So I'm going to leave them in here because I don't need them right now. Um, there's a few things in here that I need. So I'm going to start on the counter shaft. That's what I finished with, taking apart. I'm going to do that one first. So I got a little cup and I'm just going to lube down. Lube up the shaft here. Okay, it's got oil on it, all good to go. So this is the first one that goes on and it needs a bearing. Lubricate it and I'm not going to open it wide, just going to gently slide it down the shaft. Okay, next would be the third gear. This side faces down. Okay, spins nice. One thing that's helpful on the gears is that they're going to get bigger as you go up. So if you're going up and you got a bigger one than the next one, you know you did something wrong. Okay, so I got this on here. Okay, next is going to be the clips. The flat side goes up. Once you realize what it's suppo you're supposed to be looking for, it makes it easier on the determining which is the flat side and which isn't. All right, this you can. You can see that it's got a little rim here. This side's completely flat. So the side with the rim goes down to hold in those clips. Okay. After that, let's see where I am in the book here. Okay, next is another needle bearing. And this one. According to the amount of space in here, it should be the big one. So just gently spread it. Turn it around, just make sure she's free. Spinning nice, and now I get the next gear. Position second gear. So it's engagement slot, faces out, and then install second gear. the lock ring and then the securing segments and you want those to be square side facing up tiny 
screwdriver in here to push those in. And then put your securing ring in there. Make sure it ain't got no debris on there. Okay, that's in there. Next is gonna be another bearing. Slide it on. Grab your gear. A little lube on there. Okay, so I've got the new needle bearing on. And then this first gear, when you want the uh, engagement slots facing your dog. Okay, nice. Nice spin to it. So next is this spacer. And this is all ready. This is ready to be installed into the trap door. Now I still got to put the bearing in the trap door and finish that. All right, let me move this out of the way. And I'm gonna do the main shaft now. So this one, I can't really stand it up unless I had a stand. So I'm just going to keep it down like this and get a bearing here. So let's lube that bearing. Slide it down and spread it apart. Don't want to drag it too much across the gear there. A little rough. So next, the gear goes on, lube it, okay, on this one here you want the open end, the dogged end, to be facing the uh, main drive direction, okay, and then this piece next. Okay, flat side against the gear, and there it is. And then you put this on, and just like that. Okay, so I got, I got my bearings pressed in on the trap door, now I just gotta put the clips, supposed to be flat side against the bearing. Okay, I just want to catch up where I'm at. Um, I'm getting it back together. Um, my battery died on me, so I didn't record some of what I've done. Um, where I left off, I believe, was I was completing putting the main shaft back together. After putting in new bearings and all of that. Main shaft is here. Here is fourth gear. When you're putting it back together, stop. Don't put all of this back in here. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. First off, when you are putting them back together and you want to press them in here, I don't have the um, main shaft bearing tool that they suggest. I just have a press and so I just use the press with a socket it's a 7 8 socket fits over here perfectly and fits on the inner race of the Baron so you can press on the inner race of the Baron and at the other end right here you put this on the bed of your press so I had it on here supporting it like this. I didn't put it straight on here, I put it on here. So I got that gear in first, the counter shaft. I put it in first, brought, came back over here with it and put the main shaft in. But I had to remove because I had already installed fifth gear and the associated parts. So I removed this and laid this piece onto the bench and came back over to this side with the press 
and press this in until it bottomed out. All right, so got my blue Loctite here and I got these two bolts that I need to get in. All right, that should be funny. Let's see, quarter inch. Not easy to get to them. <laughs> I think uh, probably better off to put them in before you get the shafts in. Right, let's see, I got the thread started. wrench on here it's a tight fit okay I talked it down to 60 that part is taken care of all right so where I'm at now the transmission is ready to be installed after I get the work done on the trans transmission case. I'm still going to put the counter shaft bearing in and the main bearing and also the main drive gear. I guess that's what I'll get working on. So what I need to do now is press this bearing uh, into the bore of the case. All right, I just wanted to bring you in closer on the setup that I'm using to bring in the main gear drive bearing um, I have a driver and then I have the the old outer race sitting up against the new one um, then I have you know a couple more pieces on here to bring keep it out here on the inside I have the gear the main drive gear turned around backwards so it's sitting up against the case with the bolt going through there all right, so let me get set up here, and we'll drive this in. Main thing I want to do is keep everything aligned properly. It does look like I'm a little bit off, so I'm going to back this up and come at it again. And the problem I'm having is the driver went in crooked on this bearing, the old bearing. And I guess I should have put the flat face against this instead. All right, let's take this apart. All right. So this is the way I ended up getting it in. I tried using the puller that I had set up, but it kept wanting to go in crooked. So I got it in just a little bit. And then with the driver, uh, it's, it's all aluminum, so it's nice and soft. I had this, the old outer baron, the outer race of the baron. I just had it in here. And this will just drive it as far as uh, you need it to go. It uh, worked fine. Um, and it's right into where the retaining ring goes. All right, so now I'm going to put in the counter shaft bearing. I lubed it up with some fluid. Um, and I got this. I can't put the nut on the other side of it because it'll hit that. Uh, so I'm just going to gently massage it in there. I'm just trying to feel 
on the inside for it to be flush. The old one, before I took it out, it was flush. It was pretty much flush on the outside here too. So it's just a few more. Yeah, that looks good. Looks like it's all in the right spot. All right, so I got it in most of the way uh, with a rubber mallet. Now we'll drive it into the mark with the press. And we'll double check that that's the right mark. check that. The mark I have on my sock is not perfect, but I know that once I got it in far enough to be able to get the snappering in there, that it's where it belongs. And I can still see that it needs to go a little further. Check that. Oh, uh, almost there. I can see the snap ring location, but there's no way I'd get it in yet. That should do it. Perfect. All right, so the book says to put the snap ring in next. All right, the new seal is installed on this side. So next is put a spacer in here and then the second needle bearing, which I have a mark on here for, that's the short mark. All right. Stop there. On the other side, if I went too far, I could push it back on this side. Well, I can't do that. All right, let me go measure. See, it's got about a millimeter to go. All right. That jumped right around a millimeter. Next thing is installing snap ring on the main gear here, the bearing. This is one tough snap ring. I had to buy some large snap ring pliers, even with this. It's not easy. Um, these things don't stay tight so it makes it makes it hard to do as these things are uh, replaceable and I would almost rather have something that was not permanently fixed so that way they didn't you know didn't have movement in them all right so the snap ring is on now the challenge is to squeeze it and you want the flat side against the bearer. And you want it back here. You want the opening back here. All right, let's go with tightening them down while I have it very close to the opening. Keeping my fingers on the back here keep it together and now that's as far as it'll hold it by itself it's got a ratchet here it needs one more <sighs> and I wonder if flipping flipping these around will make it tighter for me let me give that a try because I need to be able to get that extra. Oh boy. Really close to being in. Alright. There we go. Like 
I said, these things are very strong. The snap ring. All right, now I need something to push it in the rest of the way. All right, let's use this. Next is to install the, install the main drive gear. Here's the main drive gear. Got a seal here and a new roll of bearings inside and a new seal on here. So this gets installed, lubricated, and it's gonna, gonna come into here. Alright, you get to the other side and stick it in there. Get it lined up. Okay, so for over here, I need something that's going to fit. I hope I got something. Um, that's going to fit over, over the main drive gear, but we'll hold on to the center. Alright, so I'm going to see if one of these things works. Alright, so if I'm really careful, that'll work. some wrenches on it. All right, like everything, when you're working on bearings, you want to take your time. Start drawing it in, and if it doesn't feel right, stop and double check everything. So far, it's pulling through nice and easy. I'm not putting much pressure on this at all. But it's starting to tighten up a little, so I'm gonna just stop and check, make sure that I'm square. Yeah, I can see where it's off a little bit. It's mainly my holder. So I'm gonna come up. So I'm gonna take this off and just take a look. See if I got something to help it out a little bit. Make sure that the gear is actually going in straight. All right, I'm going to use part of the old baron and I'm going to place it on here like this, kind of like I did with the outer race. Then I can put this. If I can get it in there, get it to fit on there tighter, that would be good. Uh, that way I can keep it more stable. Okay, so for a little bit I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this on. Then this piece. Is it more square? I can definitely get this better. Uh, definitely don't want to bring it in crooked. So, most important thing right now is to get this squared up. Okay, that's nice. And I'll uh, get the tools back on. That feels like it's all the way. Let's check it out. Okay, that's not all the way. That 
front one needs to go further. It just got tight. But it's it's definitely square in the hole. So just put it back together and give it a little bit more. Okay, it all feels really good. Do it again. So, yeah. Hopefully this time that's where it needs to be. Yeah, that looks better. That looks like what it looked like when I took it off. Compared to when I took it apart, that's nice and quiet. Let's just see how it feels over right here. Mm -hmm. That's nice. No more grindy. Alright, take a quick look at the book. Okay, next, the seal. So everything's lubricated. That goes in pretty easy, a lot easier than I was expecting. Wow. And you need a tool on that. Nice. Feels nice turning. Oh yeah, that looks good. Alright. Okay, next we gotta put in the seal. Little shift in here. Yeah, so I'm gonna hold it in and very carefully bring it over the splines and just push it in. Make sure it gets in as far as it needs to go. And I'm gonna have to get a socket to fit that. That's good. Should be good. Looks nice, it's in square. Put the washer on and the new snap ring. This snap ring is uh small so it's very easy to damage one that I took off it got damaged it doesn't hold its shape so make sure you use the new one and we spread it enough for it to go all right and then make sure it snaps in make sure it gets where it should be there it is. Yeah, it's spinning around. It's inside the groove. All right. Now it is time to get all the transmission, the gear set in. And uh, so I got this all taken care of. The new counter shaft bearings are in. This is done. Everything's out of the way. The dipstick is out. So I'm going to go ahead and double check everything on the gears. Okay, so it's time to put the transmission back in. Uh, I've gone over it a couple times just to make sure that I didn't forget to do something. Okay, transmission is going in. Everything has been thoroughly lubricated. Okay, that wasn't bad. Now, at the point where different things need to line up. Oh, if I can get them from this side, I'm gonna go to the other side. 
if I can see in here and see what's going on. I'll tell you, it's not easy to get those things to line up. The shifter drum, that's pretty close. Um, let's see what else is there. Okay, the gears are right there. Let's see if that's what it was. Yeah, that made it that went a little further. Okay. Getting there. Uh-huh. Yeah, a little more. Just one more thing. I don't know where it is yet. You can see a little bit in here, but not much at all. Uh, go around the other side and look. Uh huh. Well, the gasket's not lined up. That's not good. already. That jammed up on something. There we go. There it is. All right, I'm gonna get the bolts in and start tightening them down. The two walls go on the bottom. So I got them all gently tightened down and I'll go back and get them with the torque wrench to their specifications. 